Happy Friday, everyone. I thought I would finally do a video on persistence. Um, it's been a while since I said I would get something out and more details have uh, appeared um, since we were first talking about this. And as you can see, uh, I am in the United States. And if you visit persistence.one, you see something that says important notice. Please note that from January 15th, 2024, applications on the persistent.one domain will no longer be accessible from your location. See here for more details. And when I log in from an IP address from the United States, that's the message I get. And when I use my trusty Proton VPN, and I guess I'm going from Iceland to Australia, so I'm kind of doing a double hop. This is what it should see. Um, when you go in with a VPN, then you get around this silly, silly rule that they've um, imposed on us free folks here in the United States. So if you have something staked, um, then you're going to need to unstake it. And I know there's a time period for that. You may miss it. You may be on vacation. But if you have a VPN, I highly recommend Proton VPN. Um, and uh, that will get you through. Now, you're asking yourself, well, you know, what happens if they turn off the, the VPN uh, ability, which they could potentially. But what we're going to do is move from, uh, I'm only going to do this with Ledger. If you have another wallet, there's so many wallets, I can't cover all of them, but I'm going to show you what um, I recommend keeping things on Ledger. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can do the conversion from migration from 750 to 118. And that was the video that I was trying to do earlier. So when you hold persistence on a ledger using the persistence app, you have the 750 and let me show you. So if you hold your, um, uh, on your wallet, your ledger persistence wallet, uh, P wallet is what they mean, you know, the the, uh, the web-based persistence wallet on the persistence ledger app, the 118 coin, which we need to get to, is not supported, and the 750 coin is supported. So really all we have to do, there's, there's two birds, one stone. We need to get it off the persistence app, and you're like, okay, well, what am I going to do? You're going to actually put it on the Cosmos app on your ledger, and you're going to have to go to Ledger Live. You're going to have to put Cosmos app on your ledger and that's where you're going to store your persistence why i don't know this is just what they've decided to do i'm just following the rules and when you do that the 118 coin is supported and the 750 coin is not you're like well where do i convert it well you convert it by sending it and how you do that is a little bit different than what they recommended so here is um you know the persistence wallet they're showing you that um, you can do certain things like see what type of coin and you can't. And it says right down here in the FAQs, I can't see coin types in my persistence wallet. I'm like, yeah, I couldn't either. Why is that? Well, it's because to see both coin type addresses in your persistence wallet, you need to be logging in using a key store file, which is ridiculous because you don't want to use a key store file. So how do you do that? Well, you don't really have to do that and figure it out anymore because you can't with a ledger. They don't have anywhere here where they say this is what you can do. All you need to do <clears throat> is move them from the persistence-based app wallet to the Cosmos-based app wallet. And how do you do that? So this is wallet.persistence.one. And you don't want to create a wallet. You don't want to generate a key store file. You want to sign in. And when you click sign in, oh, look, you get use Cosmos Ledger and use Persistence Ledger. So the first thing we're going to do is I'll show you use Persistence. Oh, OK, hold on. I was in my Cosmos. I'm now in my Persistence. I'll click on that. There's the address. Continue. And you have to agree to everything each time. Um, if you first log in here and you don't see anything, it takes a little bit of time to refresh that and get you the amount. So right here, you see that I have some persistence and I did a test. I always recommend doing a test. 
um, before you send to a new you know wallet and what you can do is let's see transactions here i sent back six days ago 200 xrpt persistence to this particular well this is the hash and it's not necessarily showing you the wallet which is fine um, but what i did was i'm going to log out of this wallet i'm going to sign in but let me change the app there we go cosmos i'm going to say use cosmos ledger gave me that I have to agree to everything. And what I can do then is send my coins that are on the persistence app on your Ledger hardware wallet to the Cosmos app with, uh, within your Ledger hardware wallet. So what you want to do is click on wallet. Oh, wait, where am I going to get? Okay, it's under your little thing here. You need to click that's copied what i'm going to do is off camera i'm going to paste my address so i can look at it when i go back to my persistence app ledger login so i put it in here you can just see a little bit of the tail then we will go see so you have i have 200 right now we're going to log out I need to go ahead and get out of the Cosmos wallet app. Then I go into persistence. I say login, use persistence ledger, continue. Got to agree. Yeah, this video is going to go longer than what I want. And then I'm going to say recipient address and I'm going to say paste and I'm going to look. Yep, that is the one. And I'm going to say, we're going to do 500 right now. We're going to say send. I'll do low. Next, then go to my ledger, view transaction, sign transaction. Okay. And it said that it was sent successfully. Now, what we always want to do, and it was deducted, that went down. So we need to, once again, log out. Change from the Persistence app to the Cosmos. Sign in. Use Cosmos Ledger. Continue. Agree. And there we have it. There's 700. So I received, well, let's see, received, there we go. Um, I received 200 six days ago, and a minute ago I received 500. So that's how you convert your coins, and that's how you get them off of having to use wallet.persistence.one because you can um, access the Cosmos app on Ledger Live so that if for some reason you didn't have a VPN, you could do it on Ledger Live. And, you know, this is the best that we can do with Persistence right now. Uh, and we don't really have any other choice, but it's pretty simple and easy. I mean, it's a little, there are quite a few steps. I'm going to do the rest of them in just a little bit. Am I going to restake them? I don't know. I might, I might not. Um, but because I have a VPN, I do have that option. Um, and you know, you can see what you want to do on that. Uh, I will put this out on YouTube, but what you can do if you're a member of the binge team at the bitcoinacademy.io, you can put comments down below and we can figure out uh, some of the issues that other people might be experiencing. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great New Year's. We'll see you next year.